House of Representatives overwhelmingly passes a bill allowing banks to provide services to legal marijuana businesses. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Chelsea Helms. Fox 24's Crystal Martinez live in studio with how this bill affects local dispensaries. Crystal. Chelsea, if the bill known as the Safe Banking Act becomes a law, it'll give shops like the Source in Bentonville more options and services it can utilize. We actually attempted to set up accounts with several banks and had those accounts closed. Eric Danielson is the owner of the Source in Bentonville. He says banks were hesitant in partnering with their business because of concerns. Concerns because of the current federal prohibition on cannabis and the effect it could have on their core business. We had a number of accounts where we started with, so we just would move funds till we found someone that was uh, stable and would work with us. Lawmakers were in the process of easing that stress. Last week, the U.S. House of Representatives Representatives passed a bill called the Safe Banking Act that provides clarity to banks who want to offer services to legal marijuana businesses. It also prohibits the federal government from taking actions against a bank that chooses to do so. It passed you know, with overwhelming bipartisan support, so I think that's a sign of things to come and hopefully a push towards a, a lift of the federal prohibition. Danielson says if the bill becomes a law, it'll help them in more ways than one, starting with allowing patients to use credit cards for purchases. What we decided to do was just to have an ATM at our location with a minimal transaction fee to try to keep the cost for the consumer down. It'll also allow Danielson to take out loans to use towards construction, something he would have to pay out of pocket for right now. If you're going to do an expansion or you need some operating capital, the ability to borrow some money, um, would that would really help a lot. The Arkansas Bankers Association also weighed in on the act's passage, saying it welcomes the bill that will help banks meet the needs of their communities. Well, 321 representatives voted in favor of the bill, including U.S. Representative Steve Womack. Meanwhile, U.S. Representative Bruce Westerman has, was one of the 103 who voted against it. The bill now heads to the Senate. In studio, Crystal Martinez, Fox 24 News. Thank you, Crystal.